Tonight, an update on a story WJZ has been investigating for the last month, Baltimore's vacant housing crisis. Today, city council members introduced a series of new legislation focused on tackling the city's vacant properties. It's an issue that's plagued the city for years and partly contributed to that deadly fire last month that claimed the lives of three Baltimore City firefighters. WJC is live tonight. Annie Rose Ramos has more on the proposed new laws. Annie Rose. Vic, this new legislation is meant to create more affordable housing. The idea behind it is to use some of those vacant houses and turn them into some of that affordable housing units. Now, earlier tonight, we were in West Baltimore's neighborhood of Sandtown, where residents are frustrated that it's taken city leaders so long to do anything. We've uh, weighed in on what we'd like to see here. Um, and we've waited. Frustrated residents fed up with the city's inaction. It seems like there's a sense of apathy among, um, you know, everyone at City Hall that this is just the way it is and that these problems are insurmountable. A six year resident of Sandtown, Eric Stevenson, doesn't agree with that. My wife and I bought our house in 2015, uh, which was formerly vacant, and we take a lot of pride in it and we work really hard to you know, try to maintain the lots. Eric has been waiting for five years for these houses to be demolished. Until then, they're filled with squatters and homes where fires often start, like this one a few doors down from him three weeks ago. We've seen fires on this block. Um, in fact, each one of these houses has probably burned at least once. And we still have not made headway on this issue, and it is soul crushing. It's why City Council is tackling vacant properties from every angle, including through a newly proposed affordable housing program, says the bill's sponsor. We have so many vacants that we could turn into affordable housing. But Eric says in the meantime, demolishing vacant houses to make vacant lots still poses problems. They can be nuisances with illegal dumping, which is a, a plague in this part of the city. Truckloads of garbage that's dumped and, you know, hazards like needles and things like that. You know, something more needs to happen. Rick, the next city council meeting is in two weeks where there will be bills specifically addressing vacant housing. Council members tell me there is much more to come, and this is a big priority for city leadership. Reporting live, I'm Minnie Rose Ramos for WJZ.